The Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week is underway in New York City. Designers, stylists, and buyers from across the globe are gathered at Lincoln Center to see what's going to be hot in 2012. So joining us now live to talk about the weather <laughs> impacts on the trends that we're going to see walk down the runway this week is the author of The Bra Book and style expert Janae <laughs> Luciani. So first off, Janae, let's talk about the warm winter and the mild winter we've had this year. Is that going to impact what buyers decide to pick up here at the Fashion Week? Well, you know, a few years back when we had that December that was entirely in the 70s, designers were telling me that they were, you know, thinking lighter and sort of designing with that milder climate in mind. But I think nowadays, you know, you're going to pretty consistently get spring is spring, fall winter is winter, and the buyers are definitely buying in season. Um, but we are seeing more sort of transitional pieces like winter shorts mm -hmm. um, and a lot of lighter, lighter layering pieces. I, I did. I was taking a look at some of some of the uh, the items that have been already um, displayed on the runways, and it seemed like lighter fabrics. Or the designers, too, are thinking lighter fabrics. It's been a mild winter. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, a lot of those transitional pieces that you can wear through all seasons and, um, you know, a lot of just layering pieces like thin knit sweaters, leggings, um, those types of things. So this weekend we have some snow in the forecast. How is that going to affect the Fashion Week events? Well, as we say, the show must go on. <laughs> so the fashionistas, the buyers, stylists will still all be there. However, we'll be doing like my friend Robert Verity says and double shoeing it, which means <laughs> that we wear the weather appropriate flats and bring the heels in the bag for when we go into Lincoln Center. So you didn't mean galoshes <laughs> when you said double shoeing it. <laughs> the galoshes are not a fashion trend. But speaking of trends, what are some of the big trends that you're expecting to see this year on the runway? Sure, we're going to see um, a continuation of the color blocking trend. Um, again, a lot of fur and leather touches. Um, a lot of longer length, like a little bit below the knee skirts and dresses, and a lot of pleats, like we have been seeing. Um, and again, transitional all weather types of items. And even the hairstyles are sort of all weather now. Um, the models don't really have to worry about bad hair days because companies like Paul Mitchell are taking care of them um, and Excellent. doing styles like that really sleek bun. Excellent. So updos that are kind of all weather. Hat or no hat. Janae Luciani, thank you so much. We appreciate your <laughs> advice this morning. Thank you so much.